I'm excited to announce that WeTransport will see an estimated savings of $200,000 in their car tax relief over the next two years as a result of the mill rate cap. I think this is really great news. I think it's great news for everybody in the city and the cities in Connecticut. And in addition, Bridgeport will receive $25 million in additional aid to reduce property taxes. This property tax relief will be significant for our businesses because 37% of this relief will go to businesses. And I'm happy to see that both Bridgeport businesses and the communities they serve will benefit greatly. And people are looking for us to find ways to make it easier to stay in Connecticut. And I truly believe this is going to be one of the issues that will help people understand we're trying to do the best thing for them and saving them some property taxes. And this budget establishes a permanent cap on the car tax for all of Connecticut. Businesses will see their car tax bills slashed by one third, allowing them to have more money to pay for other items that they may need, including hiring additional people, purchasing new equipment or updating equipment, however they see fit. We transport here with us today has approximately 240 buses and vans that are used to transport Bridgeport students to and from schools safely and on time. And this funding will help support that transportation. And this tax relief, relief will save Bridgeport hundreds of dollars in tax relief over the years and thousands of dollars for businesses such as we transport. With our current mill rate of 42.19 mills, a family with a vehicle assessed at $18,000 is paying $760 in car taxes. When the mill rate capped at 32 mills next year, that same family will save $184. And when the mill rate is capped again at 29.36 mills in 2017, that family will save an estimated $231. These savings will allow residents to put this hard-earned money into their own pockets. Businesses like we transport will benefit greatly from this tax relief. This budget provides a long-term solution to our current tax system and puts Connecticut businesses first. Uh, we transport would like to thank the efforts of uh, Senator Moore and Senator DeGones for our local leadership and spearheading this effort, along with all the other senators who are instrumental in making this possible. The savings that we're going to see will be able to help us to provide further growth in this area. And with that growth, we can hire more employees, we can reinvest in the business, we can get newer vehicles, and we can also boost up our training. Uh, the school bus industry is constantly changing. In an effort to be competitive, we need to be able to have the money to help make it that way. So thank you very much for the senators who were instrumental in getting this done, and we really appreciate the great effort for businesses like V-Transport and the business in the local area. The budget that we passed this year is a transformative budget in so many ways because it deals for the first time with the issue of the property tax, which people have found historically to be the most burdensome tax that they pay in the state of Connecticut. It is not any of the taxes directly levied by the state, but it is the local property tax that both individuals and businesses have found to be the most burdensome. And as uh, the senator said, the example of we transport and the, and the relief it will get under the bill that we passed this year, capping motor vehicle tax rates at 32 mills starting in fiscal 17 is going to make a huge difference for every community in the state that has a mill rate currently over 32 mills on motor vehicles. That 46 percent of the residents of the state will receive a reduction in their motor vehicle taxes in the first year of the program and 56 percent uh, in the second year. And about 37 percent of all motor vehicle taxes are actually paid by businesses. So this is a program of relief for both individuals and for businesses. And it really is one of the important pillars uh, of our budget. This is extremely important why we're here today. Uh, Andrew, the business owner is, is and the businesses here uh, at WeTransport are going to be saving $200,000 per year based on what we did in this budget. And uh, that is going to go back probably towards uh, reinvestments into buses. It could go into hiring new people. Um, there's many, many things in which I'm sure any business that is going to be saving $200,000 a year could be doing with that money. Um, so uh, this, this budget uh, is, is one in which uh, Senator Gomes and Senator Moore worked very, very hard for. Uh, we have helped cities all across the state, including Bridgeport, which 
uh, frankly, uh, needs the help that we can give them as they continue on with their redevelopment efforts and we provide property tax relief to the residents, the hardworking residents of this city. Uh, they have two great advocates in this city for them.